What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Undertale. Now, last time we left off, we finally had a battle with Papyrus. Apparently, he was our first boss, which was crazy, and we ended up going on a date with him afterwards, so uh, that was even crazier, so I don't even know what this game... This game isn't even a game, honestly. Like, it's just an experience. Like, what in the world? <laughs> Then we went on an actual date with Sands. We got a hamburger and he drenched our hamburger in like ketchup. We couldn't even eat it. And then it was cold by the time I actually wanted to eat it. But anyways, let's get to Ooh. Oh, it's one of those chests over here. But I, I'm like, I, I might as well actually start putting stuff in this chest, honestly, because I uh, wait, what in the world? Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Well, that, I'm like, I, I need the inventory space. That's why I want to do it. Sincerely a box hater. <laughs> what? <laughs> use the box? Yeah, sure. Just because a uh, toy knife bandage. Like, what am I not using right now? Put the butterscotch pie in there. Stick uh, snowman. Pe let's put that in there. Just because that's another thing where we kind of want to take it. Like, this guy wanted to, like, have a piece of him. But I, I guess he didn't want to have the piece of him, like, in a box the whole time, right? Like, he wanted to explore the whole area or something like that. I forgot what it was specifically. Toy knife bandage. Stick. I don't know what to do with the stick. I, I might as well just keep that in my inventory. We haven't had this box in a while, right? There you go. Get out of there. You know, those, those bubbles or whatever those are over there keep looking like rubber ducks, so that's kind of... Oh! Oh, we're able to walk across that. Ooh, but what's down here? Let's see what's down here first. Ooh. Oh, I can't... I guess I can't walk across that. I got more stuff around. Okay. The heck is going on down here? There's some... Oh! Oh, it's one of those... Yeah, we, we came across one of those acre flowers. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Yeah, so the echo flowers say whatever the thing is that they last heard. So if we go over here, where it's seemingly safe between these two things that up. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Is that it? Yeah, man. So is that technically behind the waterfall or like I want to make ah, I want to make sure I don't get hit by whatever those are. Are those rocks? I don't know. Is that going to say I swore I saw something behind that rushing water? It doesn't say behind well, that waterfall is rushing water, right? But. And I get, okay, these like lines are like support beams. That's what they are. I can't walk across them because it's like what's supporting the thing that I'm walking across right now. But we already looked, but it, it was just a camera though. So, whoop. So I'm safe here. Is it up here that, oh, it was. But what is this? There's a two-two lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Uh, sure. I've already got a bow in my hair or something. Got an old two. Can I put that on? How do I put that on? Item. Old. Sure. Put that on. Use. You equip the old tutu? <laughs> I'm like, I can't physically see it on me, though. Yeah, I guess we got rid of the faded ribbon now, so uh, I guess that's that. And what about these things? We saw these with that hidden door a while ago. We, like, turned them on and off in different combinations to try and, like... I don't know, I'm going to... What were they when I came in here? Were they on or off? I don't know. Is there anything else in this room, though? I kind of want to check before I leave. Is there any other uh, hidden pathways or... I don't know, but I've got a 2-2 on, but I can't physically see the 2-2, so that kind of sucks, but... Ooh, let's just wait. Ah! Who's like Crossy Road over here? A frogger. Let's keep going this way, though. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Look at the lighting there! That's crazy! Man, it looks pretty cool. Even though it's all pixels and stuff, they actually look... Actually look kind of cool. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa what happened? <gasps> There's Papyrus! <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Uh, did I fight him? Uh, yes, uh, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. Uh, what? Uh, did I capture them? Uh, well, uh, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? Uh, but Undyne, you don't uh, have to destroy them. You see? Y you see? What is it? So that's Undyne right there in that, like, iron armored, like, uh, armor. Dot, <laughs> uh, dot, dot. Uh, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Ooh. Okay, so Undyne up there is. Oh, oh! Oh, oh no! Wait, no! Oh. I'm on, like, the other side of a wall, though. Like, how does this guy, like, hear me? Uh-oh. Am I able to move right now? I, I want to make sure I get hit by this guy. Oh. Well, I'm still hidden in the bushes, so... He heard something, but he didn't see anything, because I was hidden. Oh. And he has, like, one glowing eye. Ooh. So I want to keep our eyes peeled for that. 
Holy heck. <gasps> Another, what? That's like a really, oh! The heck is that kid doing? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That uh, was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> it's the ground. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I guess that's just the background. Okay, I thought there was like something happening. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let's just save again. Yeah, we just saved the game like one screen over and now we're saving the game again. It's crazy. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yeah, only like six minutes later. Golly, waterfall hallway. Let's keep going this way. Yeah, that like kid or bee thing is like following us over here. And apparently Undyne is a female. So that's pretty interesting there, too. That's why they keep saying she over there, huh? When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Align in the water. Four bridge seeds. Is that those things over there to the right? Because it said in the water. Oh, I could pick them up. Yeah, okay. And the water is like rushing, but it's like keeping it up to the side. Okay. Well, this was a... <laughs> I'd hate to say it was really easy and simple, but it kind of was. Like, is this even a puzzle? I don't know. But Yeah, there you go. Now I can walk across. Okay. Now, are there going to be more puzzles like that? Or... Is there like really... Oh, what happened? Oh, and I... Aaron flexes in. What the heck is that thing? Like a horse head... Like a human torso with like, not a six pack, but like a 15 pack or 16 pack. And like, uh, what what type of tail is that? I don't know, but should I fight this thing? I kind of want to see if I can. Oh, and then do multiple hits like you guess. Whoa, half health. Woo, I'm sweating. All right, let's, whoa, make sure we don't get hit by a sweat. Ah, oh, we got hit by a sweat. <laughs> oh, I survived after that though. It smells like a muscle farm. Now, what happens if I... Yeah, what, what, what does the act do? Shoe fl flex myself? You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Okay, so uh, it just cancels out then, huh? Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Yeah, okay, well, might want to just defeat this guy then, huh? Just because uh, we already did, like, have health with that first attack, right? So might as well. Boom, and then do more multiple hits. 74 damage, wow! And then 25 gold, 52 XP. Your love increased. Yeah, I think you guys said... The heck is this music? It's getting crazy right now. And how do I read that sign down there, by the way? Oh, oh hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. Yeah, I gotta pick these things up. And then, and, and these... Yeah, I can turn the... But what? How do these work, then? I don't know, but... If... If the water's rushing that way... Yeah, how... how oh, no. Okay, I guess it still just magnetizes to the to the side there. Okay, I was about to say like if if the water rushes sideways, like wait, hold on, wait, it's not it's not like activating though. What happened? Oh, do I have to throw another one down or or what? Hold on, oh, I might have hecked this puzzle up. Whoops. I do this. I can't throw it again. Whoops. Oh, it, it's oh wait no no. Oh, is that, is that going to respawn though? No, it's gone. Is it over here? Oh, it's all the way over, golly. Well, how am I going to get four of them to read that sign? Because they, they have to be four of them lined up and then they, unless, unless I do this, but they're not all right next to each other, right? Yeah, so those two are over there, these two are over here, so they're not going to line up, so. What happens if I activate, deactivate? Oh, there, there's a sign there that probably would have told me the answer. What is this thing? Ring that bell. Oh! So that bell doesn't turn on post notifications. It responds to its flow. Okay, that's good. Okay. So... Yeah, hey, forget about that for right now. Well, this is only three wide. Yeah. So how am I going to get... These... To make me go across and then... Go into that other... Oh, wait, you know what? Let's read this. I was about to read it, and then I got distracted by that bell. <laughs> if an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they start. Okay, well, that just kind of explained the thing I already knew, but there you go. Well, there's three of them right next to each other, but if I have a fourth one, but they're not all lined up, is it still going to count, or? I guess not. Okay. I mean, what's the point of these things, though? I don't know. Well, anyways, I guess I'll just reset again. There you go. I, I kind of want to go back one screen. Oh, wait, I, I know. 
One, two. Yeah. Do it this way. I I, I kind of want to re here reread what that sign said about these bridge seats or whatever, but I kind of figured this one out, right? Yeah. So it goes up against the wall, and then we can read that sign. And it's probably going to tell us another thing about the bridge seats or There we go, yep. So what's it gonna say? Congratulate! You failed the puzzle, what? Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, like, congratulations, that's all the sign says, and then it says I failed the puzzle. Yeah, because I was doing this puzzle instead of this puzzle over here. <laughs> but what... How would I do... Oh, wait, I, I guess I know how to do... Actually, I don't know how to do this. I was about to say, maybe I'll just put them all right here, but no, that doesn't work, because I still have to go across this. Yeah, like I said, I, I kind of want to re-read what that other sign said. Yeah, let's, let's go back. still know what these second things do, but let's go back one screen. See what that... Yeah, right here. Oh, hey, there's more. I wonder if I can steal these. Can I t take these in the other room, actually? I'm curious if that'll actually work. No, oh, no, it just dies right there. Man, honestly, I would have believed if that was the solution to the puzzle. <laughs> when four bridge sees a line in the water, they will sprout. It says a line, though, so we align them horizontally. I don't know if you can align them vertically because the water, like, rushes or what? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three. Because the water's going down, it won't go... Oh wait, no, it does! Huh? How does that... Unless this water... Because, yeah, the waterfall's there, and it's going down this way. Okay, well, maybe that'll work then? Let's try it. Let's keep putting them like this. And if we have four of them, we'll have an extra one off to the bottom. So that'd be pretty good. To... Yeah, I, I don't know if any other way to do it, but let's see if this actually works. Yeah, that worked. Wow. Yeah, so if I tried it like right here, it wouldn't have worked because there's still an empty spot there and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so I, I, I can only... Oh, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, uh, what are you wearing? Um, you know how creepy... I, I was editing last episode, and I was, I was thinking, I was realizing how creepy it is for someone like Papyrus to be going on a date with this actual literal child. Like, how illegal is that? Golly. Actually, I don't even know how old Papyrus is. Is that is that okay? I don't know. Because I'm like, he, he's got a bedroom of a child, so maybe he's the same age as this girl? I don't know. But then again, he's a skeleton, so you assume he's dead? So, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you guys know any lore about that. But, uh, anyways. <laughs> Uh, I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Uh, yeah, I found it in a cave and I decided to put it on for some strange reason. <laughs> so you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Was that a bad idea? Because he was just talking about Undyne. Or talking to Undyne, so... Maybe Undyne is the friend that, was, that saw the dusty tutu or something? Wait, was I wearing that tutu before or after that Undyne thing? I don't know. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars, or to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. I guess those are kind of stars now for you guys, because you're, like, destined to underground or whatever, right? Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. And what does this sign say, though? Oh, jeez, another encounter. The heck is that? A Washua? It's like a creature with a rubber duck and a platform going up and down. What? <laughs> How am I going to act with this thing? Joke with it. You tell a joke about two kids who played in a muddy flower garden. Washua's power powers are neutralized. Hey! No, that joke's too dirty. <laughs> and the duck tweets at him. <laughs> the joke is dirty because the kids got dirty in the joke, right? Golly. Whoa! Washu was friends with a little bird. Uh, can I show him? Okay, yeah. Yeah, flee. Just flee. I, I, I don't want to deal with that guy. Golly. <laughs> Wishing room. Okay, that explains it. Did I? Yeah, I think I heard that one. Golly, there's a lot of these flowers. Come on, sis. Make a wish. What about the oh, and there's a telescope. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Oh. What about the telescope? Look through the telescope. Yes. No. Yeah. Oh, man. I can move it, too. Check wall. <laughs> what? I guess it's the check wall. Actually, I don't know what that's for. Because it says check wall up arrow. I don't know if that means to check, like, to make sure 
where the telescope is aligned or tell me to check a wall that's up? I don't know. I'm confused by this. Hold on, can I interact? Oh, that just exits it, though. What if I did this button? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, that exits, too. Okay, whatever. I don't know if that telescope has any other stuff, but... Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go back up here and see what's... Oh! Is that... Oh! Oh, is that just saying to check the wall that was up here? Because I'm like, I would have done that anyways, because it was a dead end, but... Ooh, is this like a swan? Oh gosh, there's like three signs, four signs, five signs. Golly, okay, let's just read them in order. Well, oh, there is something over here. Is this going to the water? What is this? I guess it is. Let's see what this says. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Yeah, we talked about, or we heard, was it Papyrus last episode talking about human souls? Or was that like one of his books that talked about human souls? I forget. Uh, but it was saying like it was super strong and that's why Undyne wants a human soul so we could use the human soul to like open up the door at the end of the tunnel or whatever and like get to the surface, something like that, right? But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body, even after death. Yeah, like a ghost, huh? If a monster defeats a human, they could take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable powers. Or maybe that's why Undyne wants my soul, huh? Not to open up the door, but to have unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. I kind of, honestly, I kind of like the change of like, Oh, jeez. Of, like, like theme here. Like, the first five episodes or whatever were all, like, comedic and lighthearted and stuff. And now it's all, like, dark and stuff. Like, physically dark. And also, like, oh! And, and even like this, with hacking shadows and stuff. Because we're, like, in a cave or something crazy. There's, like, rushing water sound effects, too. Oh, jeez! Whoa, Undyne throwing a spear at me! Oh, jeez! It's like a... Ah, it's like an actual battle, but, like... Like in the regular world, this is crazy. Oh, let's just keep going. Actually, hold on. Yeah, just keep going. Don't don't go back and forth. Oh no, I got hit. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's like a mini game when I get hit. Holy heck, that's crazy. There you go. Then, oh, man, another mini game. Oh, holy heck, this is insane. Oh, now it seems like there we go. Then use that to avoid. There, yeah, there you go. Now I'm starting to get the. Oh my gosh, we're at the end. But he's still chasing her. Or she still chasing? I don't know. Oh, hiding in the bushes. And where's that other kid, though? That, like, bee kid. Oh! Oh, those missed, though. That's good. Oh, there he is! Ah! Or she is. <laughs> oh, she's gonna step on me. Does she know I'm here? Oh! Jeez, just stabbed. Oh, no! She just stabbed that, like, bee kid in the eye! No, man! I was just asking about that kid, too. What does Undyne have to say about that? Killing a fellow monster like that. Can I move? I can. Uh, obviously don't want to go that way, golly. Let's keep going this way. Oof. What was this? Nothing? Okay. We just keep going. Oh! I can't move. Wait, what? Didn't that, did I just see that kid get killed? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just uh, touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. I'm the unlucky one. It seemed like she just stabbed you in the face or something. Jeez. If you were just standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> he slips again. <laughs> this little, like, giraffe bee looking guy or whatever that creature is. <laughs> what is this thing? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. What in the world? It's stuck to the table, just like that cheese we saw earlier. Ugh. Was this a uh, echo flower, say, squeak? Yeah, probably because there's a mouse around here, huh? Now, if I if I hit this... Hold on, not this. How do I skip out of this, like... Yeah, keep going. Yep, there's the squeaking. And that's why it's echoing it right there. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Save. Okay, another 15 minutes right there. Okay, not bad, but... Honestly, it feels like time is, like... Going fast and slow at the same time, like we just got to save six minutes into the episode, and then another fifteen minutes later. But it's oh, and then there's uh sands right there. But, but the first like 
five episodes or whatever, it seems like those saves are like once per episode. Anyways, let's see what Sans has to say. Actually, hold on. Is there anything in this chest that I uh, left that I might want to get? No, I think... Yes, I guess we'll put the faded ribbon in there because we're wearing like the tutu now, huh? So let's put that in there. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's just... God, how do I exit? It doesn't show the controller it controls. You know, look at the telescope again. It's an odd-looking telescope. Is it like rigged to like do a meme or something? <laughs> let's see what Sans has to say. I'm thinking about getting into this telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope for free? Yeah, sure. Oh, what's this? It's just red. There's nothing here. Wait, what am I even looking at that's red like this? Uh, I don't know. Should I just exit? Like, what is, what was that? Huh? You were satisfied. Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. Full refund of nothing? <laughs> oh, he's just saying the same thing. Man, and that 50,000, wait, whoa. Oh no, <laughs> I see it now, it like dyed my eye pink. <laughs> That's why everything looked like pink or red there, cause like, I guess there's ink on the eyepiece and now it's on my eye. <laughs> Anyways, what's this Perry guy have to say? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Da da da. Are you a star? I'm like, I look like a rock star with my eye painted like that, right? <laughs> what else is around here as there's like, honestly, really peaceful music playing? Oh, jeez. Well, we've heard this music before. You want me to keep going here, though? There's another, uh, flower here. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't have any wishes to make? So, might. You hear a passing conversation again? Hmm. Just one, but. It's kind of stupid. Okay. I think there are multiple pathways earlier, so... What was that? Can I go up there? Oh, jeez, another battle! Of those, like, jelly mold things. Okay, let's just... Spare? Ooh! You want? Hey! <laughs> okay, yeah, if it's, like, yellow like that, that means I can do it, I think you guys said, so... If I can spare it, I might as well spare it instead of fleeing, so that'll be good. I don't know what the actual difference is between those, though, but... Oh, I thought I can go... <sighs> Man! I don't know what the point of those things are. I guess I can't go up there then, huh? Maybe not right now. Maybe later. Uh, but let me keep exploring here, though. I guess we'll go down? I'm like, I kind of want to go up, because- Oh! Ring! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu, because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Uh, I didn't change my clothes after that. I honestly probably should have. I think I'm still wearing that tutu, aren't I? And I put that bow up, too, so I don't have that anymore. Oops. Oh, it's this guy again. Can I just ignore him again? Oh, whoops. Out darn spot. What? Is that soap? What is that? The heck? Oh, gee, I took damage from that. What in the world? <laughs> Rinsing off a pizza. Ew, okay, I'll just leave you be then. I've got better to do. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, am I just going in a circle right now? Where am I? Is this another flower I have to talk to? You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Yeah, I was talking about the guy that was like, oh, do you have a... Yeah, those two flowers over there a minute ago. Oh, don't you have a wish? Because I guess they're heading towards the wishing room, right? What does this say? The power to make their souls. This is the power that humans feared. What? The power to make their souls. This is the power that humans fear. Huh? What does that mean? What's up here? Man, there's a whole... Oh, whoa! What the heck is that? Is it going to happen again? Was that like... Oh, it did. Oh, what even is that? Ew, it's like a finger coming out of it. Oh, there's another one! It's following me, though! No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this thing? The heck is that? Oh, it's like smiling. <laughs> hey, there. Notice you were here. I'm onion Son. onion Son, you here? What in the world is happening right now? There's an onion guy here? I can't move. Or I guess I am and he's following me. I guess that's what that is, huh? 
You're visiting wonderful, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Look at those eyes on him. <laughs> Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. So this onion guy is like an, a sea monster or whatever? And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... Uh, that's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? What? Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall. <laughs> okay. What happens if I come through the room again? Are you going to be a save over here? Nope. Oh, jeez, another battle. With a... I don't even know what. Shri... Sh 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 Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Okay. If he's shy, I'm going to flee. What? You don't even let me flee? Hum, hum. Oh, he's attacking like... Wait, oh. Oh. Taps a little beat with her fin. Huh? What if I hum back? Or conduct the music that she's doing? You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attack. What? Shouldn't have done that, I guess, huh? Toot. She's like playing music. Yeah. Just ignore that. There you go. <laughs> Pretend to be a pop idol. Can I leave? Oh, it actually worked that time. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See what this says. The northern room hides a great treasure. Okay, I'm going up there. It's probably a trap, but I'm going up there anyway. Oh, a piano. X quit. So dot left down right up. There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Dot. Huh? Oh. What does that mean? Oh. Did that work? Is there a, hold on, there's a sign over there. How do I, where's it? Okay, that's X on the controller. X is A on the uh, Xbox controller, apparently. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. What does that mean? So, what, hold on, what song was that then? There was not even a song playing here. What does this say? The Northern, oh yeah, the great treasure thing, but. It said, there's a piano here, play it, sure. Uh. Okay. I don't know what the song is. Like if I if I knew the tune, I could probably replicate it if I tried hard enough, right? But I don't know. And I I, I even said like a billion years ago, there's something. I I feel like I, oh is that guy going to come out again or what? I got, oh, jeez, there he is. Just just ignore him. Just ignore him. Did you hear? You're back. I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. All I've thought of is the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. <laughs> well, do you think we'll be popular? Yeah, no, uh, sure. Just stay positive with this guy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, okay. Golly, this guy is very strange. I don't know what to really think of this guy. Do I just ignore him or what? I don't know. Is that is that the song I need to replicate? There's no heckin' way I could do that, golly. But how do I how do I get back to all the way over to there? Let me try and make it all the way over to there and then and how do I get over there? I don't know, but uh, it seemed like over by where say oh jeez, where Sands was, where that save spot was. Can I can I just skip this? Lee. Hey, there you go. It seemed like there was another direction. Or maybe I'm misremembering or something. I don't know, but I'll just go back anyways to see if there's anything I might have missed. Yeah, right here. There's a pair guy, and then we go to the right. Like, So, like, what's this? Is this, like, a whole other area? Or, uh... Oh, it's a... It's a nice cream guy and another chest. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21... Hey, there's that number again. 21 different flavors. <laughs> So how many flavors? Does this guy sell ice cream again, or...? I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Yeah, I was your customer before. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. 
If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. Hey, that's actually not that bad. They're sure to get the customers to come back. You know what? Let's get some, because I don't think we have any right now, especially because our inventory is now just 20, 25 gold. They were 15 before, I think, right? Man, well, we've got 174, so I, I could buy some. And here's your card in the box. So every three that I buy, I get the fourth one free, I think he said, right? So if I get three right now, I get a fourth one for free, or, or what happens? Because I've got the inventory space for it, so let's do it. Too bad you can only buy one at a time, so this is going to be number three. There you go. Is he going to say I'm going to get a free one or what? Ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. Now I've got 99 gold. What? Your card's in the box. You got an ice cream. Is it? Oh, it's in this box. Two bugs in the box are playing a four card game. Take a card. Sure. All games must end one day. You got a punch card. A three card game. Oh, I, I need to bring the cards to him, and that's how I get the trip, man. Okay, so that box isn't the same box. It's like, what, down here? Yeah, this is a different box. Okay, use the box. Sure. Yeah, you know, uh, I put the punch card box in there. Or, yeah, put, put that bag in there. So I got four nice greens right now, which is pretty good. How's our health right now, though? Do I need to use one? Not really. We're at 38 out of 44. I uh, might be able to explore a little bit more, but... Oh, wow, that's a lot of rhymes, but I kind of want to see what's over here. Oh, it's a duck! The heck? How do you get over there? I don't know. But if I wrap around and then there's like no pathway to the to the left to go to that duck, I don't think. Uh, let me get to that room where that onion guy was, and I guess we'll see what's going on beyond that. Maybe there's going to be a save and I can save the game. I don't know, but let me get back there real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Okay, I'm back here. There's that onion guy. Probably going to bother me again, but I'm going to try and outrun him. <laughs> He's probably going to still talk to me, though, but... <laughs> yeah, there's no, like... Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else uh, to talk about. Uh, okay. Golly, this guy's weird. He's just, like, smiling so creepily. Okay, well, at least I'm away from him, but... I've still kind of got the same... That tune in my head. So if I could replay it over here. Hold on, so... No, not really. It's not even like the same like octave as that song that I was playing in that like, oh, was over here uh, in, in, in that other room that I was in just a minute ago. But anyways, this power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Ooh, what about this one? There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Wasn't Papyrus a boss, you guys said? A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now, it never will. Okay, let's continue on this way. Whoa! It's a creepy statue. Can I go over there? There's like rain pouring on it. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just continue on. The heck is it? Oh, are those umbrellas? Please take one. Okay. Let's grab an umbrella. Take an umbrella. Yeah, take one. Sure. You took an umbrella. Wait, do I even have the inventory space? Hold on. I guess it doesn't even take it up. Yeah, because I'm not. it's not in my inventory. I'm actively using it, I guess. Huh, so. The, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Return the umbrella. No, keep it. Uh, Man, I'm hitting the wrong buttons all over the place. Let's go back. What was I using? The Yeah, the tough clay. Yeah, use that. I don't know if that's any better or any worse than the, uh, the toy knife, but... Uh, continue on. Hey, it actually works. Look at that. The rain droplets aren't going on me, I don't think, huh? Cool. Oh, look at those RTX reflections again. Ooh. Oh, there's that kid again. Let's see what he has to say. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Oh, he's going to go under my... <laughs> yep, he's going under my umbrella, golly. Let's go. Yeah, he's not even under my umbrella anymore. I'm going to outrun him so he doesn't get under my umbrella. <laughs> All right. Let's just keep going, I guess, but I'm feeling something bad is going to happen. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> um, yeah, if you were a human. Golly, it would sure suck to be a human, right, golly? <laughs> Anyways, it's all down here is another one of those echo flowers. So, one time, 
We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to the school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> Why would you want that to happen, golly? It's crazy. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. Eh, she's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Well, I'm a human and I'm I'm innocent, right? Oh, jeez, what was this? A cutscene. A castle. Is that... What was her name? Toriel's castle? Oh, it's not even a... Oh, I thought it was a cutscene, but no, it's like an actual like thing you could walk through. Cool. But I wonder if that actually is Toriel's castle in the background. Is that Undyne's castle? Or is that the castle that like the king lives in or whatever that was? Ooh. There's more umbrellas right there. So do I put it back or do I keep it? Because I kind of want to keep it, honestly. <laughs> Return the umbrella? Uh, no. Do not. <laughs> is it not going to let me go if I don't put... I feel like it's not going to let me go if I don't put the umbrella back. Yeah, okay. Put it back. You turn the umbrella. And then suddenly a magic door appears. Why well, that doesn't even work. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Can I jump on him? Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. All right. Lip. Man, I could've... Could I get that umbrella back? Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> he always trips. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just continue on. Without an umbrella. Oh! And then we gotta save. That's kind of a perfect spot to do it. Let's, let's read these first and then I'll save and then we'll end off the episode. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. What does this one say? Can I read it without saving? Let's see. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned into dust. Ooh. All right, that's kind of cool that we're learning a lot of lore as we're continuing to play here. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. And let's save the game at 237 seconds. Or minutes. <laughs> so what would that be? Uh, almost four hours now, huh? Doesn't feel like it, I'll tell you that much. But what is this, episode six? So I guess it makes sense if they're like 30 to 40 minute episodes, huh? But anyways, yeah, seems like a perfect place to leave off. And I guess next episode we'll continue on this away and... See where this takes us? Seems like a real long bridge. I don't want to keep going that way or else it's going to spoil us, right? But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Undertale comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Undertale. Oh, bye there.